Do you know that if your immune system is strong enough, so the simple cold and flus and bacteria viruses cannot affect your body that easily. Today, when we are fighting with a virus which had killed many people around the world, we are going to learn about how yoga can help you to boost your immune system, which can help you to stay healthy. You can work more productively without any fear. Namaste everyone, this is D, and today we are going to learn many ways which can help you to boost your immunity, but primarily we're gonna work on the yoga and many other factors. Which kind of food you eat, that is very important. In this video, in the end, we are going to talk about the food. So please watch the video till the end and get the complete information. Second is exercise. There could be many type of exercises, but primarily we are going to talking about yoga. Why yoga? Because yoga don't just work on physical body. It also work on the mental body, spiritual body, and it will not just help you to boost your immune system, but the other factors like a stress relief. Get a better sleep, which is very important in this case. If you're sleeping nicely, definitely you can sleep nicely. There is less stress, then you can sleep nicely, right? So yoga can help you in many ways. Third is to stay hydrated. So drink at least three to five liter of the water every single day, which can help you to be hydrated. That is also a very good choice. Let's begin. If you know any other ways to boost your immune system, so please have a comment and everybody will like to know that. Okay, let's talk about yoga, which yoga practices can help you to boost your immunity, help you to get a better sleep and help you to be stress-free. Let's begin. The most important practice in yoga, which is known as Sun Salutation, Surya Namaskara. Always you can practice three to five rounds, which is gonna help you to give you a lot of benefits. The blood gonna circulate in your body completely from head to toe, all the way your body will function well, and also it will help you to lose some weight as well. Let's see how to practice Sun Salutation. But if you are new to this channel and you want to see the Sun Salutation completely, you are a complete beginner, so please check the video, link in the description, which is called Hatha Yoga Sun Salutation. Let's start our Sun Salutation. For the sun salutation, start with feet together, front of the mat. Join the palm in front of the chest. Inhale, raise your arms up over the head. Exhale, bend forward, head down to the knees. Inhale, take your right leg back, knee down, toes out. And if you want, raise the arms up. Exhale, drop the palm down, take your left leg back, feet together, mountain pose hips higher towards the ceiling. Drop the knee, chest and chin down, Astanga Namaskara. Inhale, move your body forward, lift the chest up, come to Bhujanga Asana. Exhale, tuck your toes in, push your hips back, come to Mountain Pose Parvatasana. Very gently, bring the right leg forward between the palm, left knee down, toes out and raise your arms up towards the ceiling, look up slightly. With exhalation, drop the palm down, bring the left leg forward between the palm, catch your ankle, head down to the knees, Padhastasana. Inhale, come all the way up, arms up, look up, and exhale, join the palm in front of the chest. This is Pranam Asana Pair Pose. This is the half round of the sun salutation. Repeat other side with the left leg, the same thing. Our second practice is Uttanasana. For the Uttanasana, feet together or slightly hip width apart. Palm on the waist. Inhale, roll the shoulder back, lift the chest up and exhale, bend forward from the hip joint and slowly lower the palm down next to your feet. Inhale, exhale, lower the head down towards the knee or sin bone. Just allow your body go down, slowly, gently breathe, do not force yourself. If you are the one who got a back pain, stay with the 90 degree and keep your back straight the more you can. If you are very beginner, you can bend the leg at the knee slightly do not over push yourself stay here five to ten breath one focus only on your breath just relax your mind and allow yourself to breathe more nicely deeply two three be aware of your body four and five you can repeat this posture three times that's gonna be a lovely choice now from here, walk your palm forward slightly and take your leg back. Come to downward facing dog. For the downward facing dog, make sure your fingers are separated properly, your legs hip width apart, 
and try to lift your sitting bone higher while you pressing your palm and pressing your feet down to the ground. You can stay here. This is very nice same inversion posture which is going to stretch your entire back body. This is the one of the very nice posture in yoga. Breathe nicely. Stay here. One. Feel the gentle stretch and try to feel the blood is coming down towards the head side. Two. Be aware of your body. Breathe nicely. Three. Four. And five. Now from here, very nicely. Drop the knees down and bring your head down. Come to child pose. Rest for a while. Once you are ready, again stand up and try to open the leg three to four feet apart. Palm on your waist. Very gently roll the shoulder back. Lift the chest up. And exhale. Bend forward and drop the palm down on the ground. Inhale, lift the chest, lengthen the spine, look front. If you are the one who got a back pain, you can stay here. If you are completely fine, then slowly bend the arms at the elbow and lower the head down towards the ground. This is called Prasarita Padutan Asana. One of the very nice posture which is going to stretch your back of the body, back of the leg as well, but also going to help you to circulate the blood towards the head side. Two, breathe. Enjoy the posture. Three. Feel free to change the variation. You can catch your ankle as well. You can catch your big toe as well. Four. And five. Very nice. Our next posture is going to be inversion posture, but a small, easy, lovely inversion posture. For that, we are going to lay down on the ground. This is called Halasana. Now, very gently lift your legs up towards the ceiling. Place the palm down, press the palm down and from here bring the legs over the head first. Make sure if you are the one who have neck injuries, avoid this posture. Now from here support your back by your hands and slowly slowly one by one lift your leg up towards the ceiling. This is called Halasana. If you are feeling too much pressure on the neck, so try to lower the hips down slowly slowly for the another posture which is known as a Vipreet Karani. You can use any variation which feels comfortable for you. And if you are the one who got a really pain on the neck, so just simply lay down and legs up towards the ceiling. That is fine completely. And stay here. One. Two. Breathe. Three. Four. And five. Very gently, again, lower the body down and lay down on the ground. As a counter pose, you can do the fist pose, but if you want to stay longer, like three to five minutes, so use the booster and do the booster variation. You will see later. Now lay down on the ground, palm next to your body. Slowly place the palm under the hips and palm facing downwards. Bend the arms at the elbow, lift your chest up slightly and lower the head down, center of the head down on the ground and stay here. This is called fist pose, matasyasana. One. Very nice chest opening posture, but as the counter pose, we are practicing here too. Three, four, and five. Relax. Let's see how to do with the booster and a bit more advanced level we can go with the booster. So place the two block here in this direction. Place the booster on the block. Now sit down, your hips touching on the booster. Slowly rest your back on the booster and very gently raise the arms up over the head or open the arms sidewise. This is gonna be a lovely practice. You can stay here three to five minutes very nicely. It's gonna give you a lot of benefits in yoga, pranayama, meditation in all the way. Enjoy here. You can pause the video, play a music for five minutes and stay here. Our last posture is Savasana, which is gonna be favorite posture for many people. I hope you will enjoy it. So just lay down on the ground comfortably as you want. Just lose your body, lose your arms, lose your legs. Your legs slightly hip it apart or a little bit more out touching the corner of the mat. Your palm next to your body, do not leave on the ground, okay? And just relax. Try to observe your body completely from head to toe. Relax your body. And just normalize your breath. Do not even force for the breath. Just relax. Try to relax as much as you can and just feel your body completely. 
So this is our yoga practices which can help you to boost your immune system. Let's talk about the food which can help you to boost your immunity. Remember that food is the first things which gives you energy. So make sure whatever you eat that is really very important. Choose the right food, more fresh, go with more vegetarian options that are gonna be lovely. Okay, so whenever we talk about the immune system, so first things always comes in the mind is the citrus food, like orange, lemon, this kind of food. So these kind of fruits you can add in your daily routine that are gonna be lovely. You can also add the bell peppers, broccolis, Whenever you are eating salad or vegetables, this broccoli is uh, one of the very lovely food, the super rich food with the nutrients. Garlic, ginger, spinach, yogurt. There are many other foods like almond, walnut as well you can add, turmeric, sunflower seeds, and much more. The list is too long. Let me know which one is your favorite pickup out of these, which one you like to eat for the boost your immunity. I would be glad to see that. And there is many other, like a kiwi. Kiwi is too costly, I guess, okay? But orange is perfectly, and the lemon is a wonderful choice, I will say, which we can add in the lemon tea, okay? In the salad, always, that is gonna be fine. I always add it in my diet. I hope you enjoyed this information. If you think this is really informative, please comment below and share with your friends. I hope to see you soon. Until then, take care of yourself. Namaste. Thank you.